The U.S. dollar is trading mostly lower on Wednesday. Jitters are creeping into market sentiment as bond yields fall. There is also lowered expectations that Republicans will be able to push through a tax overhaul this year. Now, this morning, a slew of global economic data were released. U.S. CPI rose 0.1% in October due to falling energy prices, while core CPI rose 0.2%. Taking a closer look at the uh, inflation figures, the yearly rate of inflation fell to 2%, and the key reading core CPI rose at an annual rate of 1.8%. And U.S. retail sales were mixed as uh, sales slowed in October and gained just 0.2 percent. At the same time, sales were up and upwardly revised 1.9 percent in September. And in overseas data, we saw uh, German growth data top estimates. Eurodollar topped 118 today. Now, Germany's economy expanded 0.8 percent in Q3, up from 0.6 percent in Q2. And Japan's growth figures show that the economy expanded at a 1.4 percent annualized rate. Now, GDP grew 0.3% in Q3 compared to Q2, which uh, grew by 0.6%. In New York morning trade, euro dollar is higher by half a percent at 1 in 18.52, sterling dollar up 0.15% at 1 in 31.82. Meanwhile, dollar yen is off 0.8%, trading hands at 112.54. That pair is also in focus this morning. The downside prevails in trading central analysts prefer short positions below 113.30, with targets standing at 112.50 and 112.30 in extension. Precious metals are up this morning with spot gold gaining 0.4% at 1288.30. Long positions above 1276.5 are preferred with targets at 1286 and 1288.5 in extension. Silver is higher by 0.6% at $17.17. And that does wrap it up for your morning report. I'm Remy Blair reporting for the New York Stock Exchange. Make sure to follow Trading Central on Twitter. Have a great day.